Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm here to kick off a new series for my channel. This is going to be a lipstick challenge. And I had done a lipstick challenge a few years ago. It was like 21 days of lipstick and every day I wore a different lipstick. And then I kind of had update videos on how it was going. So this challenge was something that I came across in one of my recommended videos. It was a video from the YouTuber Sarah Rose. She has kind of a similar channel to mine. Her channel, she has I think around three to 4,000 subscribers, so a bigger channel, but still small in terms of like YouTube channel sizes. But her channel is focused on like Project Pans, um, like makeup inventories, using her makeup. And she has a challenge that's called four and four. So every month she randomly selects four lipsticks from her makeup collection and she uses them during the month. And then she'll have updates where she's talking about the lipsticks that she uses and chooses for more. And it's a way for her to be able to rotate through all the stuff in her collection and be able to use everything. So I thought that I would do something similar on my channel. Um, for the first part of the year, I was focusing on using up a lipstick. It was the Bite. Um, it was this one, but from a smaller size of it. It was the Bite Matte Cream Lip Crayon in the shade Glossé. Um, but I had that um, a deluxe size of that same lipstick in my 2019 Project Pan at the beginning of the year. I used that up fairly quickly. And then I didn't add in another lipstick into my project pan because I just wanted to be able to use any lipstick in my collection. But I've kind of noticed that I've been just using just a, f a handful of my lipsticks. I haven't really been pulling from my whole collection. So I didn't want to specifically like go back to panning a lipstick. I still wanted to try to get use out of all the lipsticks. And I thought doing a challenge like this where I'm just selecting four to focus on at a time would be a good way for me to try out all the lipsticks. Maybe there's some I want to declutter, um, but just be able to use all of them and um, get some use out of them all and enjoy all of them and kind of rediscover different ones. Um, so yeah, that's what I'll be doing. So I have all of my lipsticks here in this jar. I'm only including like proper like bullet lipsticks, um, some of the lip pencils. So this technically, um, it's a lip crayon. So stuff like lip crayon, like stuff like the um, NARS lip pencils. And then I have a few liquid lipsticks. I've included those as well. So nothing like a tinted balm. Like I have a few of the fresh sugar lip treatments. I haven't included those in the project and I haven't included any lip glosses. So any of my other lip products I can use in conjunction with the specific lipsticks that I pick. Um, but as far as the lipsticks, I'm only gonna let myself use the four lipsticks that I've chosen. And as far as how I'm gonna randomly choose them, I have every, um, I film on my phone. So um, on Sarah's channel, she uses like a random number generator. I will link her channel down below in case you haven't um, seen her before. Maybe you have because her channel is larger than mine, but I will link her down below um, and her intro video for this project. But I have little post-its and then I have each um, the numbers one through um, 20 on little post-its and then I have written out all of my lipsticks and I have them numbered. So I'm gonna randomly um, choose from this jar um, four lipsticks and then see what they correspond with. Um, I am gonna be doing updates every four weeks. This is on Sarah's channel, she's doing monthly updates, but I'm gonna do updates every four weeks. Just sort of works out better with my filming schedule to have um, the updates more in the middle of the month versus having them be like at the beginning of the month. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I'll start selecting the lipsticks. I'm just excited with this. I think it will just be fun to kind of rediscover some of the lipsticks in my collection. Um, so I have 20 total lipsticks. So this will be um, four at a time. So it will be over um, 20 weeks. Um, with each lipstick, I'm not going to be focusing on it like this lip, one lipstick for a week and then another for a week. I kind of want to like mix between the four that I choose. 
For each specific lipstick, I'm only going to be requiring myself to use it two times, um, which might not seem like a lot, but some of my shades aren't stuff that I'd be comfortable using on like a daily basis or like for work. So like something like this, which is the NARS um, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Corella, um, I would not be wanting to wear this on a daily basis. So just two times for each lipstick. Um, and of course I can use it as many times over that that I want as long as I'm at least using all the lipsticks twice. Um, and I could also, you know, pair stuff like a gloss or um, I don't think in a lot of cases I'd really pair them with my um, Fresh Sugar Lip Treatments unless I put it under. Um, but yeah, I can kind of play around with different combinations of lipsticks. Maybe sometimes I want to mix things together, um, but for each of them I have to use each lipstick twice. So I will start to select. So I have all the little post-its and let's see what ones I end up with for this first um, four weeks. So the first one is number eight. And number eight is, if you can see, is Bite um, Amuse Bouche in Cancer. So I'll have to search for it. Um, here it is. Of course, the last one I picked was the right one, but this is Bite Amuse Bouche in Cancer. This is a pretty shade. I do really like this one. I'll do a swatch of it. It's like a more mauve shade, and I really like the Bite formula. Um, since I've kind of let myself use like whatever lipstick I want, I often gravitate towards the Bite lipsticks. I just think they're a very comfortable formula. Um, so I don't know how well you can see the swatch, but it's here. So it's more of a cool toned, um, mauve sort of shade. So I'm really happy to get that one. And then we'll see what one we get next. So, let's see. Okay, so the second lipstick is number nine. And number nine, ooh, this is also a good one. This is from Jouer, it's the shade Meredith. So you can see number nine. Um, this one, it kind of works because this is a more warm tone shade, a little bit more of a peachy tone. And this is a lipstick I've had for a few years now, so I'm glad to get some use out of it. So there. It is in the bullet, and then I'll get a swatch of this one. And this is a much sheer lipstick. This is one I definitely could wear on like a daily basis, and I think it would look good um, with the lip gloss that I'm currently panning. I'm panning um, it's more orangey tone lip gloss from Bare Minerals. So there's a swatch of this one. You can see it's a little more sheer than the bite one, but I think a good variety of shades so far. So let's pick the third lipstick. So, let's see, let's go with this one. So this is number 15. And the numbers might be flipped when you're watching it, but number 15. And 15, ooh, another one from Bite. So I do have quite a few Bite lipsticks, so probably for most weeks I'll get multiple Bite products, but this is um, Bite Thistle. So this is another Amuse Bouche. It's another cool tone shade. It's quite a bit cooler even than the Cancer shade. Oh, and I picked it first try. I picked the right one. Um, but this is one that I have in the mini packaging. So that's what it looks like. I have a lot of like cool tones to pick from. That will be good. It is kind of similar on swatch. It's pretty similar to Cancer, but it is um, a little darker, I'd say. That's Thistle. So sort of similar to Cancer, but different enough. Um, I do really like cool tone lipstick, so excited to use that one as well. And then I'll pick the final lipstick for this first four weeks. We'll see what's the fourth lipstick. Um, okay, the fourth one is number 14. So 14. Oh, another bite lipstick. This is the Glossé. So I was talking about this one. Um, this is the Glossé shade. This is, I always forget the name of it, but it's a matte 
Cream Lip Crayon in Glossé. And here's what that one looks like. We'll get this one swatched. So it's kind of funny that I ended up with, not that funny, but three bite products. This one's um, also sort of a mauve shade as well. I'd say it's almost a little more mauve than like the Cancer shade, and it's a little more warm toned in comparison with the other two that are more cool toned, but this is Glossé here. So those are my lipsticks for the first four weeks of the challenge. I'm very excited to use all of these. I think just doing the swatches, I'm already thinking of how I wanna use the different shades, and I think with the first ones that I chose, I won't have a problem using any of these. I think I could use all of them like more than just the two times, but yeah, I'm really excited for this project. I'm just excited to have some way that I can kind of cycle through my lipsticks, get, just get use out of all of them. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely, if you did, also check out Sarah Rose. If you haven't before, I, as I said, I will link her down below. And yeah, just be on the lookout for my updates for this, which will be coming every four weeks. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.